Mrs. Clemens, where were you on November 22, 1963? I was working for Miss Motherman, uh, 327 East 10th, just where? down the block from where Tippett was killed. Did you know Officer Tippett? Yes, I saw him met pretty many times. And did you hear the shots? Yes, I heard the shots. And what did you do? I ran out into the street and looked down the street and I ran back down the street where he was lying and I looked at him. Now, when you heard the shots and you went out of the house, did you see a man with a gun? Yes, I did. What was he doing? Oh, he was reloading it. When I said he was reloading his gun. And how would you describe that man? Well, he's kind of chunky. He's kind of heavy. He wasn't a very big man. Was he tall or short? Yeah, he's kind of short guy. Short and heavy? Yes. And was there any other man there? Yes, there was one on the side of the street. All I know, he told him to go. Mrs. Clemens, uh, the man who had the gun, uh, did he make any motion at all to the other man across the street? No more to him to go. Well, he waved his hand yes, and said, go on. Gone. And then what happened with the man with the gun? Uh, he unloaded and reloaded. And what did the other man do? The man kept going straight down the street. And then did they go in opposite directions? Yes, they were. They, they weren't together. They went this way from each other. The one down the shooting went this way. The other one went straight down past the street that way. What was the uh, the man who did not do the shooting, but the man who went in the other direction from the man with the gun? What was he wearing, if you remember? Well, I first I remember he had looked like light khakis and a white shirt. And was he tall or short? He was tall. And was he heavy or thin? He was thin. But the one who did the, the one who had the gun seconds after Tippett was shot, he was short. Yes, he was, he heavy. was short and kind of heavy. Now. Did you testify before the Warren Commission about this case? I haven't said anything to anyone. Did anyone come to see you after the murder of Officer Tippett? Yes, he was a man who came, I don't know what he was. He came to my house and talked to me. But I don't know what he looked like a policeman to me. He did. Did he have a gun? Yes, he wore a gun. Mrs. Clemens, how long after Tippett was shot did this man with a gun come to visit you? Two, about two days. It was about two days. Said that I might get hurt. Uh, someone might hurt me if I would talk. About what you saw? What I saw. He just told me to be the best if I didn't say anything because I might get hurt. 